Some call them scientifically impossible places. We call them scientifically unexplainable places, and they're totally real. On this magnificent planet is a cliff produces eggs, and a lake that disappears without a trace. We don't know why, and might never find out, but these scientifically unexplainable places are awesome and can be witnessed by anyone. But before we get started, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. Number 12. Giant Ground Cells As the highest mountain in Africa, Kilimanjaro itself is pretty outstanding. But as a freestanding mountain whose climate zones become progressively less like the ground level landscape the further you ascend, Kilimanjaro is especially remarkable as an incubator for isolated, mutated or rare species found almost nowhere else. One of the most striking of those species is the giant ground cell. Something like a cross between a burned up cactus and a pineapple, these alien looking plants can only be found on Kilimanjaro and only above 14,000 feet. In order to carve out an existence in such a forbidding environment, that high up the mountains temperatures regularly dip below freezing overnight, the plants have evolved water storage in the pith of the stem, nyctonastic leaf movement which means the leaves close when the temperature drops too far, a natural antifreeze, and self insulation through withered and dead foliage. Adaptation is really the name of the game for giant ground cells both on Kili and on other East African mountains. None of the species are exactly the same, but it's guessed that they all evolved from a common ground cell around a million years ago. Common ground cells like the one pictured above range from 4 to 16 inches tall. Giant ground cells, on the other hand, regularly grow over 10 feet tall, sometimes even 20 feet or more. Number 11. Saltiest Pond on Earth At the bottom of the world, in a frigid Antarctic desert, sits a weird pond only a few inches deep but so salty, it stays liquid even at temperatures of minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. The source of the pond's unusually heavy and pure load of salt has been a geochemical mystery since it was discovered during a 1961 expedition. Scientists had generally assumed that Don Juan Pond, a play on the names of the expedition's helicopter pilots, was fed by deep underground water. But a widely publicized 2013 paper suggested that the salts came from a shallower source, the salt in Don Juan Pond isn't the same as the stuff they get sprinkled on food. Instead, it's 95% calcium chloride, which significantly lowers the freezing point of water, helping the pond stay liquid even into the bitter Antarctic winter. It's rare for nature to produce a water solution so pure, said study co-author Jonathan Toner, a geochemist at the University of Washington. From a chemistry perspective, it's kind of like walking into the room and seeing a pink elephant he told Live Science. Number 10. Cliff Eggs This is certainly the case with one rock cliff in China's Guizhou province called Changda Ya, which has been baffling geologists for decades. No one seems to be able to explain the unusual stone formations it creates every 30 years. The Mandarin name Changda Ya translates to egg-laying cliff, and it's just as bizarre as the name would suggest. This 65-foot-long formation has been mysteriously sprouting stone eggs for generations, and no one has been able to explain why. According to Shui people from the local Gulusai village nearby, the egg formations take 30 years to develop. Villagers have known about this strange phenomenon for generations, and many of them journey to the cliff to touch the god eggs, believing that they bring good luck. In fact, nearly every one of the 125 Shui families who live in the Guluzai village have at least one of the eggs displayed in their home for worship, and there are plenty more scattered throughout the village as a sign of good luck and prosperity. Number 9. Marfa Strange Lights Marfa's official slogan is, tough to get to, tougher to explain, but once you get here, you get it. Fittingly, a series of strange events has transformed this tiny town in the middle of nowhere into a place like nowhere else. 50 miles from the Mexican border and 200 miles from the nearest major airport, Marva is a dusty dot of a town with one traffic light and fewer than 2,000 people in the remote reaches of far west Texas known as El Despoblado, the uninhabited. On a wide shoulder of Highway 90 just east of Marva in the Presidio County, Curious people gather on clear nights to view a ghostly phenomenon. As dusk begins to fall, strange lights appear to hover in the air and then disappear unprompted. The lights have been described as otherworldly. Witnesses claim to see the lights dart in one direction or another, change colour and apparently dissolve just as swiftly as they appeared. 
They're called the Marfa Light. They're a largely enigmatic phenomenon that's confounded and intrigued Texans for generations. But just what exactly are they? Theories abound as to just what causes them. Some people believe the mysterious lights are paranormal in essence. The Texas state scientist spent 20 nights using spectroscopic technology to observe the lights. Both studies came to similar conclusions, that the Marfa lights were most likely caused by the headlights of cars driving by on Highway 67 or by small campfires in the distance. Although some people who've seen the lights vehemently deny this solution. Michael Hall wrote a piece on the subject for Texas Monthly in 2006 entitled The Truth Is Out There. Hall's article explored both magical and scientific explanations for the lights. Number 8. Growing Idol Located in the Karnul district, Yaganti, India, is a popular shrine of Lord Shiva that sees devotees thronging to it in large numbers every year. Interestingly, the Nandi statue set up here has seen a growth in its size over the years, and it's not a myth. Archaeological Survey of India has confirmed that the idol increases by one inch in every 20 years. Experiments suggest that the rock used to make the idol exhibits a growing nature. Another mystery surrounding this place is that, if legend is to be believed, a sage cursed the crows from entering the temple, and so no sign of crows can be seen here. Number 7. The Michigan Triangle The Bermuda Triangle enjoys global renown, but in the United States a similar phenomenon is little known outside Michigan. It too is triangular in nature. This is an eerie area in which mysteries endure. Scientists have never managed to get to the bottom of what goes on in the Michigan Triangle, like its more famous counterpart, this is a place that defies possibilities. Stretching between Ludington, Benton Harbor and Manitowoc, Wisconsin on Lake Michigan, sailors entering the triangle are taking a risk. The schooner Thomas Hume disappeared in 1891 with its crew, and no trace has ever been found. But others have followed and paid a similar price. In 1921, the Rosa Bell was discovered damaged and upturned, its 11 crew members nowhere to be seen. Theories abound, but science has been unable to find an answer. Some think there's a time portal here, while others believe that UFOs are responsible. Like the Bermuda Triangle, this is an impossible place that actually exists. Number 6. The Disappearing Lake Rivers might run, but lakes stay where they are, right? Tell that to Lugarima in Northern Ireland. Sometimes it's there, and sometimes it's not. A few geologists and explorers have attempted to study it, but the deeper they search, the more complex it gets. The lake actually drains itself out to such a degree that passers-by wouldn't even be able to tell that there was ever a lake in that very same spot. Where does the water disappear to? No one knows. Paul Wilson, who's a pro in analysis of aerial and ground reconnaissance images, has gone the extra mile to analyse maps from the geology surveys in search of clues. He conducted an experiment to try and follow the trail of the vanishing water. He put some dye in Lugarima, and it helps him trace the flow of the water to a dry riverbed. How the water flows from the lake to that point and back is not clear. Analysts started a comparative look of another similar vanishing lake to get some deeper insight. Canada's Medicine Lake is on the limestone landscape called Karst. For this vanishing lake, it's been confirmed that each year water drains through the Karst landscape beneath it through sinkholes that dissolve over time to form a big cave. Indeed, there is limestone in the Lungarima area. It's, however, not that simple in Ireland as it is in Canada. Cast limestone typically have large caverns under the ground, but it's not the case with Lungarima. Adding more to this mystery, the amount of water that's coming out of the river is twice the amount that's actually going into the river. This mysterious phenomenon still remains a mystery. Number 5. No life despite abundant water. There's a place on Earth which does not harbour any form of life despite presence of water. Hot, saline, hyperacid ponds in the Dalog geothermal field in Ethiopia. It means that the presence of liquid water on a planet, which is often used as a habitability criterion, does not directly imply that it has life. Living beings, equally microorganisms, have a surprising ability to adapt to the most extreme environments on our planet, but not at the Dalog geothermal field. The infernal landscape of Dalol, located in the Ethiopian depression of Danakil, extends over a volcanic crater full of salt, where toxic gases emanate and water boils in the midst of intense hydrothermal activity. It's one of the most torrid environments on Earth. There, daily temperatures in winter can exceed 45 degrees Celsius, 
and there are abundant hypersaline and hyperacid pools with pH values that are even negative. Number 4. Dari Devi Temple, India India is known for its mysterious and ancient temples whose specialities make them memorable. One such temple is located about 14 kilometers from Srinagar in Uttarakhand, where every day a miracle happens. People are surprised to see it. The idol of the goddess present in the temple changes its form thrice a day. The idol looks like a girl in the morning, then a young woman in the afternoon, and an old woman in the evening. This view is really surprising. This temple is known as Dari Devi Temple. This temple is situated right in the middle of the lake. There's a belief about this temple dedicated to goddess Kali that the mother Dari present here protects the Shadam of Uttarakhand. This mother is considered the guardian goddess of mountains and pilgrims. Number 3. Kelimutu Volcano Kelimutu is a small but well-known volcano in central Flores Island of Indonesia, close to the small town of Moni, about 50 kilometers to the east of Ende. At the summit of the volcano, there are three crater lakes of varying colours. Although they share the crest of the same volcano and are practically side by side, the lakes periodically change colours from red and brown to turquoise and green, independent of each other. The peculiar colours and thick mist surrounding the volcano have earned Kelimutu a supernatural reputation. Local villagers believe that the spirits of the dead go to rest in one of the lakes based upon the deeds performed on Earth. No one really knows why or how they change colour, except that it has something to do with the minerals in the still active volcano underneath. What fascinates geologists is that the lakes have different colours, yet are all at the crest of the same volcano. Well, if you're thinking that this is the mystery of this place, then I suggest you hold on. These are one of the colours in which you can expect to see the lakes. Sometimes, the colours even change to white or red because of the proximity of each lake with the underlying volcano. However, the change of their hue is unpredictable. Tourists have also seen one of these lakes in dark brown colour. Unbelievable, right? Number 2. Talakadu, India It takes a few hours from Bangalore and about an hour from Mysore. As you travel, the entire region is abundant with green fields and water until you reach Talakadu, which is covered in dunes of sand. Once you enter the place, you'll feel confused whether it's a bank of a river or a beach. The desert mounds aren't barren, they're topped by eucalyptus trees standing upright like porcupine quills. What are stretches of desert doing in the midst of a fertile river valley? Green fields giving way to crouching houses is understandable, but houses giving way to a desert? What's going on? Geologists see it as an ecological disaster. The mystery of this phenomenon is unclear, as the area ought to have been fertile owing to its proximity to the river. It had earlier inhabited some 30 temples, which are now buried under the sand. According to local legend, Talakadu is cursed. Let Talakadu be filled with sand. Let Malangi become whirlpool, and Mysore kings shall not have children. A curse by a lady named Alamalama in the 16th century is said to have made Talakadu a desert in Karnataka. No one is quite sure of this unique place, and the mystery still remains. And number one, Devil's Kettle. As far as natural mysteries go, the Devil's Kettle in Minnesota is one of the most intriguing ones. At a particular point along the Brule River, the river's water splits into two. One split continues its course onto the Lake Superior, and the other split, well, we have no clue where it goes. Scientists know it has to end up somewhere, but we don't know where that is. Scientists first tried putting dye into the kettle and waited to see which part of the lake turns up colours. It was a futile effort. Nothing turned up. Next, they decided to try it with ping-pong balls. They also vanished without a trace. What the heck is going on? We all know that the laws of science dictate that the water has to turn up somewhere. Even if it's being stored underground, there should be markings and it should be traceable. Aliens, parallel universe, glitch in our programming, some Mayan trick. Your guess is as good as mine. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.